Hello, in today's video we are going to be adding solar powered battery charging to our Ring video doorbell, so let's get on with it. Roll titles! <laughs> Hello, welcome to the channel if it's your first time here and welcome back if it's not. Now in today's video we are going to be adding solar charging to our Ring video doorbell. Now you might have seen in a recent video I installed a Ring battery video doorbell plus. It's great, I love it. Uh, if you want to check out that video it's up in that corner there. So that is a battery powered doorbell and obviously after time it's about every month or so the battery is completely flat and needs replacing and what I've got here is this and it is a ring solar charger and this adds tiny little solar panels onto the side of our doorbell and allows it to be charged by the sun it's designed to lengthen the life of the battery so you don't have to charge them as often it's not there as a completely alternative source of power it just means that you don't have to swap out the batteries as much as normal. Well, that's the theory anyway. Now there are two main variations of this particular solar charger. There's the Ring Solar Charger second generation, which is designed for the Ring Battery Video Doorbell 2 second gen. And then there's also another one called the Ring Solar Charger second generation, not just second gen, second generation, and it's for the Ring Video Battery Doorbell 3, 3 Plus, 4, and the Video Doorbell Plus. So yeah, basically, if you've got a second gen Ring Video Doorbell, this isn't the one for you. There's a separate one, which is kind of similar in the way it operates, but yeah, it's a completely different product. It's also worth noting that if you've got one of the Ring door view cams, basically one of the Ring doorbells that goes through your spy hole, you can't add solar charging to those. There's not an option for that. Those are a bit less of a ball lake to change the battery because the battery compartment for those is inside the door. So, you know, you can change those any time of the day or night. With the normal outdoor video doorbell batteries, you've got to go outside and change the battery. So, yeah. Now, obviously, for this to work, you need a bit of sun. Now, obviously, it doesn't have to be a glorious bright day. It just has to be light. But yeah, depending on where your doorbell is and where your house faces and all that kind of stuff, your results of this might vary quite significantly. Where our house is and where the doorbell's positioned, it will actually get a fair bit of sun most days. So hopefully this should keep the battery topped up. So uh, shall we see what's in the box before we go outside and fit it? Let's do that actually before I crack into the box can you just do me a massive favor and just give this video a like because likes are like currency on YouTube and the more likes or indeed dislikes a video gets the more it's pushed out into the world and you know this video might be helpful for you and it could be helpful to someone else as well who wants to add solar charging onto their ring doorbell so yeah give it a like and it will push the video further out and uh, who knows we might be able to change the world somehow so first off, I really like this packaging. It's nice, clean and simple. It's gonna be easy to recycle. And uh, yeah, it actually fitted through the letterbox, which is very handy. Okay, so let's pop it open. It looks pretty straightforward, doesn't it? So we've got packet A, we've got packet B, we've got the unit itself, and we've got the setup guide. So here is the unit, and it's got solar panels here here and here, none on the bottom because, you know, obviously. And then it's actually got this guy on the back that connects to your doorbell. So the cable comes out and connect it to the back of your doorbell and then you push the cable back in and then your doorbell sits on here. Now the mounting holes are designed to be in the same place as the existing doorbell mounted. So you won't have to drill additional holes, which is fantastic. And so basically the idea of installation is you take your existing doorbell off the wall, 
you screw this onto the wall using the existing mountings and then you use some slightly shorter screws which I imagine are in B to screw your doorbell onto this and yeah it just gets its power it does add a little bit more sort of around the edge of the doorbell but it doesn't really make much difference right so let's have a look in the setup guide so it's telling us we need a screwdriver the ring screwdriver guy and a drill we won't need a drill in this case because i've already got the fixings onto the wall and yet as predicted we've got a and b ah, i see so this is compatible with the wedge that comes with your doorbells where you can sort of slightly angle it so that's that's super helpful and yet it's recommending choosing the best place to have this positioned now ours is slightly under a porch but not to that extent it should still get a fair bit of light this looks quite important look don't over tighten the screws when securing your ring to this solar charger two turns of each screw is enough and also i really like how this is sort of labeled so this up arrow is going to be facing inside here eventually but yeah it's very clear and you can only connect it up one way i wonder if i connect my multimeter to it will it do anything is it actually getting any voltage huh that's fascinating so just the light hopefully you can see that just the light from my studio is generating 3.4 volts of electricity that's so smart okay so it proves that it's working uh, yes it's actually now raining outside so i can't install this right this second but what we'll do is we'll cut to kip in a slightly less rainy future and he can get this installed okay so we've got to pop off the cover hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad take off the battery and we've just got to unscrew these uh, original screws so it's going to be mounted something like that now obviously it does add a bit of width so if you don't have much space either side of your doorbell at the moment then this might not fit so uh, bear that in mind so we've got bag a here okay don't tighten them all up in one go because well it's just not a good idea lovely there we go now you don't want to over tighten it because it might distort it slightly okay so we've got the back of the device and this is how that connects onto there so just need to pull this sticker off don't really need it perfect i'll just loosen up these a little bit so the writing needs to be facing outwards so and a little bit more there we go fits nice and flush there just tighten these up feed the excess cable back in there we go lovely perfect that should stay now i need to go to bag b so bag b comes with two lengths of screws there's these tiny little guys and there's these slightly longer guys I think it's the longer guys that we need. Again, don't tighten them fully until you've got them all in. And I'm not gonna over tighten because it warned us against that. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Cool. Right, so I'll get the battery back in. Starting to rain now, so uh, I better pick up the pace. 
and go back inside. There we go, job done. Well, that was really straightforward to install. Now let's see if we have to do anything in the app to activate it or anything. So uh, let me make it so you can see my screen up here. There we go, we're in the Ring app. Let's go to the front door. Ah, okay, so up in the top corner here, we've got this little icon with the battery charging and a sort of sun. Go into device health. Aha, look, there we go, solar status. Connected, battery level 86%. So it's doing its thing already. So I guess maybe what we'll do is uh, we'll come back tomorrow and we'll see what it says. So right now the battery is at 86%. Now it is nearly quarter past six at night. So obviously there's not going to be much more daylight today, but um, yeah, I'll come back maybe the same-ish time tomorrow and we can see what it's saying. But yeah, it just seems to be working and there's no additional setup or you have to tell it to do something it just works perfect cool all right well i'll see you tomorrow then i guess now it's actually probably closer to 38 hours later and uh, the results have been very interesting so if i show you my screen up there yep it's there now if you press on the icon in the top right corner it actually takes you straight into the device health so you can see the battery status and there we go, our battery level is at 86%. So that's where we left it. So the solar has actually kept the battery charge to the same level, which is great. But the thing is, actually last night, probably around 8 p.m., I had a look at this and the battery had actually gone up to 88%. So it had actually overcharged it. And that kind of makes sense because the sun is really beating down hard on the front of the house later on in the day. So yeah, it helped the battery stay charged and we haven't lost any charge, which is great. Obviously, as I mentioned earlier, this isn't designed to be a replacement for the battery. It's just there to sort of help keep it topped up. So I said that the battery lasts for about a month, which is true. So if you say 100% battery divided by an average of 30 days in a month, that means it's losing 3.3%-ish each day. And in a day or in a bit, we've lost nothing. That's great. I mean, obviously there are going to be days where the weather's not as good, the sun's not going to be as strong and it will maybe creep down a couple of percent, but it's doing a brilliant job of just keeping the battery topped up. And instead of having to charge the battery, say every month, I might be able to do it every three months or similar. But this is just a great way of supplementing that battery life. Perfect. But yeah, I don't think I've got anything else to say. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but for now it's game over.